Sometimes stress will also um, start manifesting in pains in different areas and make us uh, short of breath. And when we get short of breath, sometimes um, we can get hiccups. Uh, if you're overexerting yourself on a uh, sport, sporting event, there's a simple recipe for this. And what it does is this nerve is in, tied into the forearm here, but it comes out of the vertebrae at C4 and C5. And that is where the phrenic nerve of the diaphragm starts to make the diaphragm do the breathing for you. So if you have something that likes, like hiccups where you, your, your diaphragm is spasming, okay, or if you get that stitch in your side, that's just that diaphragm that's uh, contracting on the one side from the overexertion. To release that and to relieve the breathing issues that go with the stitch in the side or the hiccups, all we have to do is reach into a point called large intestine number 10. It's between the two muscle groups here, right up by the elbow. And we want to go in between those muscles and gently rub down toward the hand. You do this about 30 times and the uh, hiccups will disappear. Now, if you get a stitch on one side of your body, you want to use that side on. Hiccups, you'd want to do the same thing if you knew the side it was on, but you're not going to. You're just going to feel the hiccuping. So any arm will work at that point. And if you're, uh, you have any confusion about it, you can just do it on both sides. They're bilateral on all, all parts of the body. So again, just to release that stitch in the side, you can do this to yourself right on, right on the field if you're doing something like soccer or football. Just rub down, again, about 30 times on each side. Okay? Now on a small baby, this is great because babies get hiccups all the time. There is one caveat though. If you, your baby is uh, newborn especially, okay, your thumb might be too wide to get to the, the space between those, those muscles. Also, the baby's nervous system might not be as developed where you're going to get that nerve and you don't want to bear down in, inside to get deeper into the tissue. Now an idea for when your baby has hiccups, and uh, you can try this on the arm and I know many people that it, it's worked wonderfully for, but again there's that occasional case that they're not going to be able to activate that nerve or calm the diaphragm when they're having the hiccups. In that case with the two hands, you're going to want to make sure that you work on a point called spleen number 17. Spleen 17 is right on the rib cage, and all you have to do is gently flick out a few times and that would uh, calm the whole diaphragm. Now remember, um, these points are going to be bilateral on each side of the body. You could do one side and then go to the other side, or you could do them both at the same time on this particular um, ailment. All right, so it's your choice, and it all depends on what the baby's going through. So that's spleen number 17.